Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you the complete disassembly process for one of these cheap Chinese action cameras, as well as the extraction process for the original lens. I replaced mine with a macro lens and the camera is now being used as a microscope. But you don't have to do that. A lens replacement can improve image quality or you could do other modifications, for example, installing a microphone jack. But for me, it is being used as a microscope, and as you can see, it works really well. Although there is a slight drawback, and that is the lens needs to be manually focused. And in my last video, I went in some trouble. Now, without further ado, let's go to the disassembly. Before you can start the disassembly process, you need to remove the battery. By sliding the lever to the other side, the battery cover will come right off. Use a small latch and pull on it to remove the battery. If you inserted an SD card into your camera, now is the time to remove it. I actually forgot that and had to remove it later. Now from the battery opening, we can easily start to remove the front cover. Be careful not to use too much pressure and work your way in. I accidentally damaged the thin part, but that's not a problem. Next, remove the four visible screws in each corner. Set the screws carefully aside and don't lose them. At this point I tried to remove the plastic cover, but without any luck. Use a small screwdriver to remove the small PCB, it's only held in place with some plastic studs. Gently remove it and be careful not to rip the flat cable as it's very fragile. Use a small screwdriver and try to remove the plastic part surrounding the lens. It is held in place by four hooks that hold onto the plastic plate that we need to remove. Work your way carefully around it until you get the screwdriver between both parts. Apply some pressure and it should fall right off. Underneath is the next hidden screw that you can remove now. Any guesses for the last missing one? Exactly right. Beneath the small sticker is the last missing screw. The most obvious spot was not so obvious to me at first. Finally, the plastic front comes right off. At this point, it gets a little tricky. There are two types of cameras. The one I have, where the screen is glued in place, and the one that has a simple cover like the one from the front, just transparent. If you have the version I got, you need an exacto knife to cut through the glue. Gently insert the knife between the transparent screen protector and the enclosure. Don't cut in too deep, take your time. Work your way all the way around and be really careful with these LEDs.
After the screen protector is removed, carefully flip the screen, again making sure not to rip the flat cable. To remove the screen, use a small screwdriver and gently push the small black plastic part into the direction of the cable. Now the cable is released and you can set the screen carefully aside. This does not require a lot of strength, make sure that the part is all the way out and on each side. Now remove all the screws you have access to except for the ones holding the lens in place. In this case they are located above and below the silver SD card holder. Turn the camera back around and gently remove the sticker that is stuck to the sidewall near the lens. This is the antenna used for wireless LAN connection or Bluetooth. Use a pair of pliers to remove the PCB the antenna is connected to and be careful with this long white flat cable. These are not as fragile as the other ones, but still fragile. By carefully pressing from the back side, you can finally remove the main PCB and get access to the last screw to remove the battery holder. Gently slide it out, away from the main PCB, as there is a small PCB held in place by two plastic arms, which is hard soldered onto the main PCB. Now take a close look at the lens. As you can see, it is glued in place with some epoxy all the way around. To remove the epoxy and therefore the lens, I decided on using my engraving machine with a diamond ball-shaped grinding bit. Any rotary tool that can use one of these or similar will do just fine. Just be really careful, the lens is made from aluminium, but the holder is only made from plastic that is rather brittle. If the holder gets damaged or destroyed, it might not be replaceable. Carefully work your way around and don't rush it. At this point, I recommend to remove the lens holder with the lens still stuck inside. After it is unscrewed, be careful not to touch the camera sensor and don't get dust on it. Now you can unscrew the lens without the risk of damaging the camera. Afterwards, set the lens holder back into place and screw it in. I highly recommend you reinstall the lens for now while reassembly to protect the sensor. Put the colored front plate back on without the black plastic part that would normally go around the lens. This creates more space for aftermarket lenses and now you can finally unscrew the old one and install the new lens. Last out of business is a quick test to see if it still works and sure enough the camera works, although the picture being out of focus and my lights creating some flickering. Well, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video and if you did please leave a like, comment down below. Other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!